Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's August 31st, 2022. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The self-described Catholic Speaker of the House is saying it's sinful to support pro-life policies. Nancy Pelosi is facing backlash from Catholics for her comments last week at the University of California, San Francisco Mission Bay campus, calling opposition to legal abortion sinful. It's sinful. Uh, it's wrong that they would be able to say to women what they think women should be doing with their lives and their bodies, but it's sinful. In the UK, emergency calls have spiked 64% over injuries resulting from the abortion pill. In 2020, during the COVID crisis, the UK legalized mail order abortion pills, making it easier for women to conduct do-it-yourself abortions from home. A recent investigation by GB News surveying six ambulance trusts reveals emergency calls leapt from 380 in 2019 to 624 in 2020, confirming critics' fears that lack of medical examination or oversight is harming women. A COVID tyrant is now reversing course. After calling for harsh punishments on citizens who refuse to get vaccinated or to mask, CNN medical analyst Liana Wen has changed her mind admitting in a Washington Post op-ed, masking has harmed her children's speech development. In 2020 and 2021, when repeatedly called for the unvaxxed and unmasked to be segregated, deprived of their rights, including heavy fines and jail time. A Nigerian prelate is denouncing repeated Muslim attacks against Christians. On Monday, Bishop Julius Kundi of the Kafanchan Diocese explained his clergy's suffering where six of his priests have been kidnapped by Fulani Muslims this year alone. Quote, Christians are being massacred without any provocation by the well-known Fulani terrorists under the watch of a democratically elected government sworn in to protect the lives of all citizens. And Pope Francis is again denouncing Russia for the war in Ukraine. Yesterday, the Holy See released a statement claiming the Russian Federation initiated a large-scale conflict with Ukraine calling the war morally unjust, repugnant, and sacrilegious. The claim comes despite Russian President Vladimir Putin stating the war was defensive, following the killings of thousands of ethnic Russians in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine. A Chinese Communist Party official is issuing a cryptic warning to Catholics. Last week, Politburo member Wang Yang warned the nation's Catholic community to avoid foreign influences ordering Catholic leaders to adapt to a communist society. A state-run newspaper reported, Wong urged them to unswervingly adhere to the principle of independence from the Vatican, resist infiltration by foreign forces, and resolutely safeguard China's sovereignty, security, and development interests. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today, where Michael talks about strengthening your faith through church militants' content. God bless you.